Hi there, today we're going to have a look at the WNS uh, SJA40 short uh, recurve sight. Now this version I've got here is uh, in silver, but you can buy it in black, blue or even red if you want to. Uh, if you look on the back of the packet, I've got one just here. Uh, it just shows me the colours on the back and it also shows that you can buy them in left hand and right hand. Although I'll sh show you in a minute that basically these do work in an ambidextrous way. So both for left hand and right hand. But if you know your left hand or right hand, I would advise buying the specific one for yourself. So either buy um, the left hand or the right hand. Now this is the SJ40 version. So it's a short uh, recurve sight. Uh, so it's got micro wind adjustment, sight pins included. We've got a six inch uh, extension and six inch uh, elevation as well. And it comes in black, silver, blue or red in left hand or right hand. Now, if you wanted a longer uh, extension, then it does come in a long version. That's the SJ50 and that horizontal bar measures nine and a half inches long. There is a bit more money though. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to get out, we're going to have a look at it. Uh, we're going to set it up and we're going to put it on a bow as well, on a wooden recurve bow. Okay. So it comes in a kind of plastic packet. I'll just turn it upside down. And the card comes out. So we've got the main sight block main sight part, the arm, and then inside this little section you do get uh, two allen keys and two screws in order to screw it into your recurve riser. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is unscrew this part and take it out because we're going to screw that part onto the riser body itself. So the first thing we're going to do is get the Allen keys out. So we've got our sight bar on here. I'll get it the right way up with a nice set of uh, numbers on here, quite easy to read and set. Now what you'll see is that on here, if I unscrew it a little bit more, it can go on this way for a certain hand. But if I turn it around the other way, it'll also fit on the other way. So it is ambidextrous to a fault, really. So you can use it on both ways. Okay, right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our bar and then we need to basically take out this screw that's already in here. There's a washer in there as well. And then just slide on that part so you can see that they line up. just screw them in oops that's the wrong allen key the smaller no it's not that was the right allen key that's it got it in now so i'm just going to tighten that up so now we've got our main kind of sight bar on here and then traditionally we would just put that piece on the top there depending on whether we're left-handed or right-handed. Now, it's quite a good quality sight. This was 12, 13 pounds in English. Uh, what we've got is a clear surround on the sight and then a red dot in the center, which is quite nice. It's uh, the same both sides, so that's pretty good. 
we've got a clear housing in the middle, but we've also got an adjustment in the center as well. So we can adjust the windage left and right. Uh, keep the pressure on slightly and then turn it left and right and then really lock it down. Just loosen it slightly to move it in and out. Or if you want to really loosen it and you want to do it quickly, you can always turn the whole thing if you want to do that. Uh, but remember to lock it down again um, when you've finished. Okay, and then for the up and down adjustment, we've got the black knob on the side there, which tightens it up and down. So there we can read off where we are on the height and then just tighten it off there as well. I suppose the only disadvantages on this is on the windage. You don't really know where you are. There's no gauge to measure um, the kind of left and right on this. So that's the only disadvantage of this sort of cheaper uh, site, but it's a really good quality site actually for the money. The next thing to do is to place this on the riser. Right, I've got my uh, left-handed uh, wooden riser here that I showed in uh, another video that I reviewed. This is the core archery um, riser. So what we then need to do is we need to get our two screws that are left in the packet. We need to put those through the holes and then just line those up with the brackets. Now for this, I need a screwdriver and you don't get a screwdriver with it. So it's not an Allen key job and I haven't got a screwdriver ready. So What you should be able to do is just tighten that up. I'm not going to, what you may find is when you're doing this is a little bit of movement in there. So you want to kind of make sure that it's level and perfect for you really. But I'm just going to loosely tighten this up just so it's tight. So that's just how to put the, uh, the body on. And then of course, what we need to do next it's a little clear washer that threads onto that knob. And then of course that knob part would go. This is a left-handed riser, by the way, that I'm putting this onto. Bow. This then slides on so you could have it in three positions. One, two, three. I'm gonna put it at its longest position and then it's just a matter of screwing that in. That is really solid. That is not going anywhere. There's no movement in that. One thing I would recommend doing when you get it, even though these two points in the back of the site are in already, I would give them a tight, tighten them up a bit, make sure they're tight because one of the other ones I looked at, it was slightly loose and you don't want a rattle um, or that coming undone. But I think on this one, It is tight. So this is a left-handed riser, but a right-handed sight. Okay, because I've put this on a left-handed riser, what you may notice when I screw this into place is that my logo is upside down. But if I had it on a right-handed riser, it would be the right way around, okay? And the numbers would read correctly, would be the right way around. But when you put it on a left-handed riser, when you put a right-handed sight on a left-handed riser, you will find out that the, the numbers on the front will be upside down. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, usually it's not such a big issue, but again, they do these in left and right hand. So if you wanted to, uh, if you know your handedness, then I would order one that was perfect for you, really, for your hand in the left or right. Overall, I'm quite impressed with this, actually, for the money, because it's it's solid. Um, it's not going anywhere. The block in the middle is pretty solid as well. You can really lock it down. So then all you've got left over should be is the two Allen keys that you can keep um, for amending anything that you need to, or in case uh, any of the fixings come loose. The 
So that was the silver version of the WNS SJA40 uh, short recurve sight. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. See you soon.